seven students. So today I'm going to teach you the tiger and uh, to tell you about the summary of the tiger. So let's start. The tiger is a poem by visionary English poet William Blake and is often said to be the most widely anthologized poem in the English language. It consists entirely of questions about the nature of God and creation. The full poem has questions about God and the nature of the poem. Why? Particularly whether, whether the same God who created the tiger or created us, who created vulnerable beings like us or like the lamb or like the goat could also have made the fearsome tiger. Is it the same God who created a lamb or a goat or who are harmless created the same fearful tiger or the fearsome tiger? The tiger becomes a symbol for one of the real, uh, one of religion's most difficult questions. It is a symbol for one of the world's most difficult questions. Why does God allow evil to exist? Why does he allow evil to exist when he created a lamb or a goat, a harmless, a harmless creature? At the same time, however, the poem is an expression of marvel. Marvel means uh, wonder at the tiger and its fearsome power. The amount of power that the tiger has. And by extension, the power of both nature and God. So let us see what the speaker says. Now the speaker directly addresses a tiger, he directly talks about a tiger, imagining his bright flashes of color, see those red and those yellow and black stripes in the dark night time forest. The speaker asks which immortal being could have possibly have created the tiger's fearsome beauty, which immortal being? Was it God or was it somebody else who created the tiger? The speaker wonders in which far off depths or skies the tiger's fiery eyes were made. Where was the, uh, his eyes were made? Did the tiger's creator have wings? The person who created the tiger or the immortal being who created the tiger, did he have wings? And whose hand would be daring enough to create the tiger? Who was daring enough who was uh, what do you call brave enough to create a tiger now the speaker imagines the kind of effort and skill that must have gone into creating the tiger he imagines it must have taken a lot of time and the skill and the effort to create the tiger wondering who would be strong enough to build the tiger's muscular body who would be strong enough to build his muscular body whose hands and feet were the ones that made the tiger's heart beating. Who was this person? Who was this person who created the tiger? The speaker wonders about the tools the tiger's creator must have used. The tools that the creator used to create the tiger. Imagining that the tiger's brain was created in a forge. What terrifying being would be so daring as to create the tiger? Who is this terrifying being? He was so daring to create this tiger. Was it God or was it somebody else? Now the tiger, the speaker mentions the time when the tiger, when the stars gave up the weapons and rained the tears on heaven. At this time, wonders the speaker, did the creator look at the tiger and smile at his accomplishment? When the creator created the tiger, did he smile and he felt proud that look what I have created. And the tiger was made by the same creator who created the lamb or the goat. Now the speaker addresses the tiger again, but this time wondering not just who could create this fearsome beast, but but <coughs> was it God or was it somebody evil? Those are the questions which is asked in this. So I will leave it there. I will explain to you. And just after this, I will 
put out my reading of the poem and just after that I will from YouTube I'll put up a video about the poem so hope you watch it and enjoy the lesson keep your books open while you're going through the lesson but today bye and have a great day good morning class 7 students so today I'm going to teach you the tiger by William Blake I think yes so William Blake so let us see what is uh, let's talk about the poet William Blake 1757 to 1827 was a romantic poet the songs of innocence and of experience the book of Thel and I a song of liberty are some of his famous works he published his songs of innocence in 1789 and followed it in 1794 with songs of experience he was not just a poet but also a painter and that is about the poet and the yeah now what comes what image comes to your mind when you think of a tiger obviously what image is it dangerous is it a, a beast or is it an image of beauty magnificence or power now you can discuss this now the tiger is a unique animal which plays a pivotal role in the health and diversity of an ecosystem therefore the presence of tigers in the forest is an indicator of the well-being of the ecosystem the extension of this top predator is an indication that this ecosystem is not sufficiently protected and neither would it exist for long thereafter according to reports there are 40 there were 40000 tigers in india a century ago india's home to 40% of the world tigers with 23 tigers reserved in 17 states some of the well known tiger reserves are jim corbett national park Rathambo Tiger Reserve, Rajasthan, Sundarban Tiger Reserve, West Bengal, Bandargarh National Park, Madhya Pradesh. Now these are the just the summary. And let's we go and let's read about the tiger. Now Tiger Tiger, bright in the forest of the night, what immortal hand of and or I could frame thy fearful symmetry. Fearful symmetry. What is the meaning of symmetry? The exact match in size and shape between two halves, parts of size or of something. In what distant depths or skies burn the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare thee aspire? What the hand there sees the fire and what shoulder of what art could twist the sinews of thy heart and when the heart began to beat what dread hand and what dread feet now to understand the poem I have in the beginning of the lesson I have given you a summary of it so this I'm just I just read, read it out. Basically, the poet uh, the poet is asking that a tiger. Why did God create tiger? He is such a fearsome animal. He eats other animals, and then he created God also created that uh, a lamb. Why did he create both these? The tiger is like an evil beast. So these are the questions that he has been asking. So I I read that. Before before I start the lesson, I will explain to you the summary. So just I read it and then this. Now question answers I will give you later and all these things. Yeah. Okay. Bye for now. See you in the next class.
Tiger, Tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what heart could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer? What the chain? In what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what a dread grasp? Dare its deadly terrors clasp? When the stars threw down their spears, and watered heaven with their tears. Did he smile, his work to see? Did he who made the Lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright, in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry?